Good morning everyone. Welcome to your English class. Today we are going to do extra exercises of lesson 5 wet in the forest. Firstly we will do grammar and usage exercise A. Link the first part of each sentence with a suitable second part of the table. If the first part begins with an if, do not forget the comma. Here, dear students, this exercise is asking us to match options in first column with the options in second column. Here you can also see that the part in first column are shown with numbers and in the second part in the second section the second uh, the second part of the sentence is shown by alphabets so what we will do we will match these parts and then we will rewrite them in a formed sentence here they have also told us that if the first part is beginning with if then before adding the second part we have to put a comma so let's start with sentence number one first part of sentence number one if you speak to him at once we will match this part with option b in second section he will look he will book the tickets for us. Dear students, as it was told in the question that if the sentence the, uh, is beginning with if, we have to put a comma. So, you can also see down here below that we have used a comma to write the second part. See, as you can see this, before writing the second part, we have put a comma over here. Sentence number two. We may not reach Mangalore by tomorrow. We will match this part with option E in section number two. If the airline strikes, continue. Here we don't have to put a comma before joining these two parts because the first part of the sentence was not beginning with if. S sentence number three. We shall consult an expert. We will match this part with option D in second section. If the building develops more cracks. Sentence number four. Quick if you don't take it off the fire. We will match this part with option F. The curry will, will burn. Here as you can see that the sentence was beginning with if. So what we will do? We will add a comma before writing the second part of this sentence. Sentence number 5. Not a problem if you don't like the shirt. We will match this sentence with option A in second section. We will exchange it for another one. Sentence number 6. Priya will explain the rules to you. We will match this part with option C. If you are going to be on the team. Here dear students as you can see I have forgot to write number 6. In six. Instead of that I have written C again in this column. So I am trying to write 6 over here so that you can understand it clearly. 
dear students you all have to note down these sentences by uh, after matching the correct part with the first part and you also have to add commas wherever required i have also mentioned that uh, uh, in which sentences you have to put comma go through this exercise again if you do, uh, did not understand now we'll move on to next exercise exercise b use each pair of sentence to make a second conditional sentence here dear students we have to make a second conditional sentence means a second type of sentence which is showing conditions number 1 have you read the book three men in a boat it is really funny options are also given they have given us hint if i had a copy i dash certainly read it the next sentence the second conditional sentence will be if i had a copy i would certainly read it see if i had a copy i would certainly read it sentence number 2 why don't you apply for engineering i am not sure of my maths grade if i was i certainly here this is a hint which is given to us we have to use this hint and make uh, another second conditional sentence if i were sure of my maths grade i would certainly apply for engineering sentence number 3 i hope it doesn't rain i ca it can ruin our picnic option if it it dash sentence will be if it rained it could ruin our picnic sentence number 4 you should plan your homework better you will then have time for a game of tennis hint is if dash dash would have dash sentence is if you planned your homework better you would have time for a game of tennis now let's move on to exercise c look at each sentence if it is type 1 rewrite it as type 2 and if it is type 2 change it to type 1 sentence number 1 it will be better if we all go together dash would if went it would be better if all of us went together sentence number 2 if there was a flood he would lose his crop hint if dash will dash sentence will be if there is a flood he will lose his crop sentence number 3 if she gets a distinction she will get a scholarship sentence is if she got a distinction she would get a scholarship sentence number 4 i will be ready if i know when you are coming answer is i would have been ready if i had known when you are coming exercise a words in use find a synonym from the text for each of these words you may refer to a dictionary dear students this exercise is asking us to provide synonyms from the text we can also use dictionary but they have uh, asked us to find out synonyms from our text that means we have to go through the lesson to find out synonyms for these words word number 1 extremely 
synonym is enormously sentence number 2 systematically methodically noticeably visibly number 4 suitably synonym is accordingly number 5 alarmingly synonym frighteningly number 6 unwillingly synonym is reluctantly exercise b find in paragraph 7 single words which mean ran after someone fall behind someone and running away from someone words which mean the 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 given meaning in the exercise is chased chased means ran after someone lag means fall behind someone and fleeing means running away from someone sentence number sorry exercise number c find in paragraph 9 a word which refers to a higher level and a word which refers to a lower level elevation is the word which refers to a higher level and depression is a word which refers to a lower level that's all for today dear students i hope this video will help you in completing your work pause the video wherever required thank you and have a good day